I heard you were responsible for driving the mercenaries off this rock. That's good. Dantooine was getting too crowded for my tastes. I've still got some Jedi junk left to sell. You buying? Uh, certainly. Take... Back again, huh? But it's nice to see you. Jaren says you saved him down there. Next time you should ask for- I hear you saved Joran. How many settlers- I hear you saved Joran. How many settlers- <laughs>
It... it is different. It has been some time. awaits. I will remain here. Yes, afraid for you. As I always have been, I will be fine here. Whatever answers the Council have are for you alone. I am tired. The journey has been a long one and I need to center myself. Know that much may happen here, but above all, do not forget this. You may trust in me. We cradle each other's lives, and what threatens one of us threatens us both. And if you find you cannot trust me, trust in your training, trust in yourself. Never doubt what you have done. All your decisions have brought you to this point. And now, perhaps, they shall see what you have become. It is not as it was. But perhaps that is for the best. We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us, and I imagine you have many questions. Or perhaps you've come for revenge. No. We will do as we have done. We will wait. There's nothing else we can do. You already know the answer. You've noticed it in those who travel with you. Have you noticed that when you act, others follow? Those that travel with you? They follow you without question, without hesitation. Against their instincts, and sometimes against their sense. It is because you are a leader. But that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time through understanding of each other. And yet you do it so easily and we do not know why. You make connections through the force and it resonates with those who travel with you. The resonance is even greater when they too are force sensitive. Your actions affect others more than you know. You draw others to you, especially those strong in the Force. When you suffer, their spirit echoes it. And when they are in pain, their pain becomes yours. We do not know, but it is not the first time you felt the weight of so many lives. And that is why the Mandalorian Wars echo within you still. We did not cut you off from the Force. You were merely deafened to it. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian Wars. The screams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity, annihilated. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet, and within you. To hear the Force over such pain, it is not possible. It was too much for any Jedi to endure, and it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished. All those you had fought with and struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to survive. 
You had hints of it in the war on Doxon. Malachor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. At last, you could hear. You were broken. You were whole. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. When you returned to us, we saw what had happened. You carry all those deaths at Malachor within you. And it has left a hole, a hunger that cannot be filled. In you, we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. Yes. You can feel the Force, but you cannot feel yourself. You are a cipher, forming bonds, leeching the life of others, siphoning their will and dominating them. It is the teaching of these new Sith to feed on others, on other Force sensitives. They are symptomatic of the wound in the Force. You are a breach that must be closed. You transmit your pain, your suffering through the Force. Within you we see something worse than merely the teachings of the Sith. What you carry may mean the death of the Force and the death of the Jedi. So you think. It is not the strength of a Jedi you feel. He's right. It's all the death you've caused to get here. You feed on it, and you grow stronger. You're like Malachor. It's in you, it's what you are now. You must have noticed as you fought across all these planets, killing hundreds, only to become more and more powerful. Why do you think that was? But what's worse is that bonding you have. It hasn't gone away. It's gotten stronger, and the more attachments you form, the more you draw others to you. And that is why you are a threat to us all. What if other Jedi went to war as you did, suffered the same events, and emerged as you did? What if there was a crucible that trained such Jedi to consume and kill? For you, Malachor was that crucible. What's worse is the Sith that we face. I fear that they have learned the lesson of Malachor all too well. It is what allows them to prey on Force users, to become stronger when Force sensitives are near. Somehow they have learned their hunger from you. And so you have brought about the end of the Jedi, and perhaps all the knowledge of the Force. But it is of no consequence. Your ability to make such connections, such bonds, so easily are why you cannot remain. You are a threat to living creatures and all who feel the Force. You will lead the Sith here, and that we cannot allow. Our judgment before remains. Exile. You must leave. And you must leave without your tie to the Force. It is a punishment reserved for only a few, and only when necessary. But we have the power to cut you off from the Force, and it must be done. Forgive us, but it is necessary. Do not be afraid. You shall feel no pain, but this must be done. As long as you feel the Force, you are a danger to those around you. Enough! Step away from her. What? Step away! She has brought truth, and you condemn it. The arrogance. You will not harm her. You will not harm her ever again. I thought you had died in the Mandalorian Wars. Die? No. Became stronger. Yes. Is this your new master, Exile? If so, then you follow Revan's path. Her teachings will cause you to fall as surely as he did. Sit out, and now they have come to us. As you would pass judgment on her, I have come to pass judgment on you all. Do you wish to feel the teachings born of the Mandalorian Wars? Of all wars, of all tragedies that scream across the galaxy? Let me show you, you who have forever seen the galaxy through the Force. See it through the eyes of the Exile. How 
How could you ever hope to know the threat you face when you have never walked in the dark places of the galaxy, faced war and death on such a scale? If you had traveled far enough, rather than waiting for the echo to reach you, perhaps you would have seen it for what it was. There is a place in the galaxy where the dark side of the Force runs strong. It is something of the Sith, but it was fueled by war. It corrupts all that walks on its surface, drowns them in the power of the dark side. It corrupts all life, and it feeds on death. Revan knew the power of such places and the power in making them. They can be used to break the will of others, of Jedi, promising them power and turning them to the dark side. Did you never wonder how Revan corrupted so many of the Jedi, so much of the Republic, so quickly? The Mandalorian Wars were a series of massacres that masked another war, a war of conversion, culminating in a final atrocity that no Jedi could walk away from, save one. And that is what I sought to understand. How one could turn away from such power, give up the Force, and still live. But I see what happened now. It is because you were afraid. It is done. She is no more. Take me to Atris. She will have the strength to do what the Council cannot. She's gone. The handmaidens came for her. They know who she is now. They'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do with anyone she thinks is a Sith. Yeah, I know. That's what I was afraid you'd say. Is something wrong? You look troubled. I can feel it. I do not understand what you mean. I follow you. Feel as I do because it is my choice. 
I believe in what we are doing, what you are doing. I am here because I choose to be. I simply do. There is nothing I can show you as proof, except give you my word. Something happened within the Enclave. What is it? Then they do not understand you. That is the danger of being a Jedi. When one separates themselves from others, chooses to lead a life of isolation, denying what makes them a feeling being, it is easy to make such judgments. And such judgments, I believe, are made in ignorance. There is no danger in what you represent, other than your humanity. You change others, but I do not believe it is due to the Force. I believe it is because you are a natural leader, and because you feel connected to the people around you. Where they look at you and see the death of the Force, I look at you and see hope for all life. And that perhaps a life lived without the Force is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go alone. I ask that you do not. Instead, take strength from your connections to others. Do not forsake them, as you did in exile. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Traer, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Traer, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alicor V has touched many things, and it casts its echoes still. Why did she betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought... Oh, she will come, but it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you.
She said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they're mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris. That is not who I am, not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. The old woman you travelled with finally made me listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here and that you would face me in battle. She said you were the last obstacle to my enlightenment. If I wished to truly face the Sith, to see their heart, then that meant facing you this last time. I do not know, yet. I suspect she went in search of you. But just as when she first came here, her path is difficult to see. She has set many things in motion. It is she that ordered the extermination of all Jedi so long ago. She will answer for her crimes. In time. She is Sith, just as you are, just as all who followed Revan were. All the knowledge of the Sith gathered from across the galaxy, brought here by my servants, so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the Outer Rim, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. I do not know, yet, but it does not matter. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. Surrender to you, never. Let us end this. Kill me. End this. I did not expect mercy from you, here, at the end, after all that has happened between us. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? Where she walks is hidden from my eyes, but not from those of her kind. It is possible I may draw one last piece of knowledge from these holocrons. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths. 
All those Jedi, their power is to feed on life until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy, echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Yes, I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor V, to finish what you started. Yes, you are an echo in the Force. A hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you, always. Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force. Greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. I do not know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. You are important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know for certain. She is willing to sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice I wish to make. It is because I care for you. And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness. It is impossible. But she believes you are the key. There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the Echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy, or end it. You are important to her somehow, Platos. but I do not know. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world, or end my life as I wish to end yours? I shall remain here, then. If Telos dies, our fate shall be tied. Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk at Dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn! Zeron, I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. 
We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left. The Sith numbers seem limited. If you need to get to the Ravager, good luck. Time comes for the assault on the Ravager. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself just fine. Look after your own health. Good luck, ma'am. We're counting. Good luck, ma'am. We're counting on you. Yes? Is something wrong? Of course, it would be... I try to treasure these moments. Something up? Good luck, ma'am. We're coming. Look, this is no time for talking. If we don't... Something up? Good luck, ma'am. We can't be here. Find the world, Yelfa. What will you do? Who be too black, ma'am? Find the world, Yelfa. Who is he that when he does? Who is he, Yelfa, buddy? Who be too black, ma'am? Who is he that Yelfa? Yelfa, buddy, no gun, Yelfa. Seth, they're trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade.
Thank goodness you're here. We just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi, then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. Well, I'm not dead. I guess that's something. I got hit by a grenade. I, I just barely missed the whole blast. Ugh. They're, they're moving ahead towards the TSF office. It's tough going, though. The, the Sith, they, they seem to be everywhere. Well, that's a relief. Of course, if we can't stop the Sith from destroying the fuel controls, it won't matter one bit. No. I'm going with you. I'm not doing anyone any good here. Is something Yes, is some Of course. I try to treasure. This area is secure. 
we can take it. Next time, warn me. If you're out to kill someone, don't surprise me like that. join you in the assault. These rank and file soldiers will do you no good aboard the Ravager. Let we Mandalorians lead the charge into battle and to victory. Kelborn, Zuka, you will be joining us. You will not face this alone. I will go with you and be by your side. I would have it no other way. Are your preparations complete? Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice. And I know that ship. It was a Malachor V.
We have breached the hull of the Sith vessel and are securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mando. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. Thank you. 